let's continue we have left here and we want to uh, write the x query expression so here we have declared the namespace and inside the uh, here we are running a for loop and we want to select voices you can see the namespace here we want to select every voice every voice inside the xml file which has an attribute local local which is equal to english great britain or um, local equals to english from usa return voice so let's run it okay we are running it what we see here it is not easy to be seen okay so as we can see as a result we have different voices right here one voice here one voice here and all that voices have something in common all that voices containing an attribute local which is english great britain or us that voices we want let's uh make prettier the result here so we want voices okay let's delete that let's print the attributes local is select voice um select voice from voice local attribute let's close that and we also want the name select voice let me check something okay it works uh, voice um, name yes we want also the um, gender to know if it is male or female it is voice and um, attribute gender very well very well let's let's run it wow you can see here that he's returning every voice as you can see here which is english as i have said the name the and the gender but what we want what it is the purpose the purpose is to get the folders where the the libraries are so here we want to select from the voices the sub-element location let me add some spaces here location why location let's go to xml inside the voice as you can see it is an element uh, in the location which has an attribute folder false which has the library that we want so let's go back to our tool right here and we want from voice uh, any that's why i'm adding double backslash any we want any location that has an attribute named folder which is equal to false okay and let's run it no. hello motherfucker why nothing let's run it without the attributes nothing okay well i found the mistake i have added some um, comments here the mistake was that i have not added the namespace right here so let's run it very well we have every voice that we want we have its name its local its gender female or male and here we have the sub element location for every location we have the h reference here which is the path to the library that we want the voice library so for example i want uh, a male voice from uh, a us 
guy. I have found it here. I'm going, I'm copying uh, the H reference address. I'm opening the browser, a new tab, paste it. And very good. You can see that uh, some packages are really very big, very big. Some of them are uh, 200 megabytes, so you have to be patient if you want some of them. You click OK, you download it on the, the desktop and you open them and you take the jar file from them you add it uh, into the project you are using this line here which is java 8 you are printing the available voices and you change the voice using this thing here extremely easy so that's uh, that what it is about this tutorial and in the next tutorial i may show you how to use different languages and um, we will have a demonstration of uh, russian language because i like uh, that language and um, i see you all very very soon